what's up everybody? What's up? This is Afro Joker. This time I'm gonna talk about Miley Cyrus again. I know, I know, y'all heard it on the news. Y'all know heard it on the news. But this time's kinda different. This is not the two birds with one stone. Two bitches with one stone. This is about something different. Billy Ray Cyrus goes to what a magazine, what Q and C, C and Q, whatever, and tells them that my daughter's show has run my family's line. Hmm. I wonder why. It's like this, son. You knew the consequences when you let your daughter go out for acting, when your kid go out for acting, I should say. And it's like this. You gotta keep a close eye out on your child. Doesn't matter if you're a celebrity yourself. When you put your child out there in the spotlight, that means you gotta do everything in your power to put your kid out there to protect your child. To sit there and do what's right. And not a damn person watched out for Miley Cyrus. He wonders why his daughter is smoking savvy, uh, fucking pedophiles and all this and that. <laughs> well, <laughs> you gotta understand something, ladies and gentlemen. Once you got a, once you, if you're a celebrity and you got a kid that wants to get out in that spotlight, what do you do? You put your career on hold and turn to your child. You got to put your foot on their necks, man. You got to make them do their homework. You got to keep, try to keep them on the DL. When they do a show or some or a movie, make them do their schoolwork. Watch out. Watch them. Watch out for them. When they hit, when they get up in that tent, you definitely got to keep a close eye on them. When they're like 9, 10 years old, something like that, between 1 and 10 or 11 to 12, you got to keep a close eye on them. Not, not close eye, but you got to keep an eye on them. When they hit 13 and up, 13 to 19, you definitely got to watch out for them. Once they hit 20, once they hit 20, hey, man, it's there on their own. You got to cut the cord. But Billy Ray didn't do that, and he goes to the magazine and say, Oh, my daughter show hanging in my tuna screwed my life and my family. He was supposed to do a guest appearance on The View today, and he didn't. You know why? His daughter said, No, Daddy, don't go. We don't want you to fuck up our lives even more. Coming from a girl that loves to fuck with pedophile, let a pedophile in her house, sitting up there smoking savia and getting caught, sitting there making fun of different other uh, people, think it's funny. Hey, why should you listen to a damn whore ass girl? She's gonna end up like Lizzie Lohan. There's been people making close bets like, oh, Hannah Montana's gonna end up in Playboy, Miley Cyrus is gonna do a porn movie. Hey, Jamie Foxx predicted the future when he cracked them jokes. He should never got mad. Oh, what if I talked about his daughter that way? No, his daughter's not in the damn spot like, like your daughter is. You're just dumb enough to let your daughter get out there and do all that. You were just dumb enough to let your daughter get out there. That ain't that ain't on nobody but yours, man. That ain't on nobody but you, man, because one thing is because one thing is, I'm tired of these people sitting there trying to defend this girl. Tried to defend this girl. You can't defend this girl because she, there's nothing to defend. There's nothing to defend. She did all the damage to herself. She did. She did all that damage to herself. And people, they suspect that we supposed to kiss her ass and make her feel good. Oh, Molly, this ain't... No, I'm not going to bow down and kiss some damn t child's ass even though she was in the wrong. She was in the wrong. She sat up there, she did all this and that and made herself look stupid. Yeah, and that's how it is. Get the and at that's on Miley. You know that's on Billy Ray. Right. No Billy, I blame Billy Ray more than I blame Miley. Because he didn't really do what he was supposed to be doing. And that's how it is. Oh, y'all know when that music come on, looking boy, what does that tell you? He's a looking boy. Billy Ray Cyrus is a looking boy. That's all he is. You with it, and I'm with it. Point him out. Point him out. He's a dumbass. 
He's stupid. Why didn't he watch out for his daughter any better instead of trying to start up his career? Ending up on the history channel trying to break down what is a hillbilly. Or trying to sit there and get deals making movies with George Lopez. Oh, I blame, I blame that show Hannah Montana for messing up my life, my family. No. It's like this, everybody. I blame him more than I blame anybody else because you had the opportunity, you had the chance to watch out for your daughter, and you didn't. You let your daughter do all this stuff because that money. You got greedy. Like they say, greediness imprisoned us all, and that greed and got his ass locked up. In a way. Now he's regretting everything she did. You should. Let me use this person. I'm like Master P. He was smart. He wasn't dumb. He was smart. He was intelligent. What he did was. What he did was. He sat there and put his foot down on his son that Romeo. Told his son. He's like. Told his son. Say look man. That schoolwork comes before anything else. That schoolwork comes before your acting, your singing, and them damn records. When, he, when Master P did that to his son, look what happened to him. He got an education, he's back into acting, and he's probably gonna make another album. That tells you that's a fucking parent. Master P is a better parent than Billy Ray. Oh, my, I took my daughter to Nashville, Tennessee, my hometown. Trying to get her a deal. Trying to get her hooked up. No. Like I said, you did that to yourself, man. Your wife, you, your wife left you. Your wife left your dumb ass because of what you did. Your daughter is sitting there doing more harm than good to herself because you was dumb enough to let her do it. Hey, man, if y'all gonna sit there and criticize me, I don't have to tell you what's wrong to talk bad about this little 18-year-old girl. She's 18 now. That means I can talk all this shit about this girl because she deserves it. Fuck this hoe, man. I bet you in a few years she gonna do a porno movie. Welcome to Hannah Montana. In the, or, or what is it? Party in the Hannah Montana. There you go. Party in the Hannah Montana. There you go. Trying to get the Molly and the Cyrus. She already got them little text, sexy little pics posted out there, man. And she's And it, it makes no sense, man, that he's gonna sit there and like regret it now in a few years. But years ago, years ago he should have sat there and did something. Years ago he should have put his foot on his on, on that neck. Instead of trying to stop his career, he didn't. He was just dumb enough to do what he did. And he's stupid as hell to let his daughter have her own hit show, make all these damn albums, travel the damn world. No, look, dude, don't, don't let your daughter, don't let your look. If you're gonna be a, get your kid out in that limelight, don't let them get into that damn luxury shit. Don't let them take them damn trips. Don't be say, oh, I wanna go to China and have fun. I wanna go to Amsterdam and have fun. I wanna go to California, and New York, and Florida and have fun. No. Like, look, them books come first. Hey, y'all, hey, look, you got off of work. Hit them books, son. Hit them books, little girl. That education come before you taking a trip across the world trying to figure out what you're going to do with your life. Now, you better hit them books. You better get yourself into a good college and get you a good education. Because hey, if you don't have that good education and your career goes down the drain, what you going to have back? What you gonna have to fall back on? Nothing. Because you allowed your child to sit up there and run a fucking mug. Across the damn world, let the self pit go to all these places, let her down, let your 16 year old daughter date a 20 year old pedophile that had, and you have two other young kids in your house. You sit there and let this girl sex it, and you know that's a fucking crime. No, she could have went to jail for sexting. That's child pedophile right there. That's how it is. And that's messed up, man, that we're supposed to give him a break. No, we're not gonna give you a break if you're gonna do, do this, man. We're not. I'm not. Nobody's not. Oh, your daughter's a fucking whore. I dare for them to roll back in my neck of the woods, man. Let her walk down the neighborhood I roll in. I'll bet you somebody got, hey, how much for some head? 
That's what they're going to say to Hannah Montana. Hey, Molly, how much for a blow? How much for a piece of ass? Because you didn't, you already marked, let this girl mark herself as hoe, skank, drug addict, racist. I ain't, I ain't bringing a racist, but poking fun of other people. But, uh, you know, do what she did. That's how it is, man. You let her do all this stuff. Because you think, oh, she deserved it. She worked her tail off. She didn't work. There's been child stars that lived that life and find out they was depressed. They got depression and they end up killing themselves. But, but like, but it's like this though. But it's like this, man. If you like what I say, leave a good comment. If you don't like what I got to say, kiss my ass. I don't want no. If you like what I say, leave a good comment, a video response, or something. If you don't like it. Move the hell on to somebody else if you don't like what I got to say. I don't need no negativity here. No negativity here. Peace. This is Afro Joe. Holla at me later. Peace in the body here. And that's how it is with me, people. That's how it is. Peace.